Hello crafty friends. Um, the angle on this video is going to be different because my back is hurting and I wanted to sit down. But um, as you can see here, it is, I have the gingham collection by uh, Crate Paper in front of me. And I'm just going to do like a flip through and kind of my thoughts and everything on the items that I have here in front of me. So I didn't get the whole collection. And anyways, this is actually not even my collection. This is for an order. So if you do want to place an order with me for the collection, um, I do basically, like you order it with me and then I place the order for the product. So that way I don't have stuff just laying around. So here, is the chipboard and in this collection it's the actual chipboard and it's not the foam so that's that one and hold on one second okay let me take this out of the package i did go ahead and ask the person um if i can go ahead and open up one of their each of their items that they got so that way I can share with you guys and I got that okay so here is the collection and I'm gonna be honest when I first seen it I didn't love it at all but having it here in front of me it kind of changes everything I really like it it's really light and let me just see. So the quality of the chipboard is still good. It's not as good as the earlier collections, obviously, but it's still really good um, quality. So that is that. And then I have the, the papery pack. And everyone knows that when you get this, it's basically like super paper thin. Um pieces here and it's super thin and then there's also like um I believe it's like washi like washi tape but like pieces with it let's see yeah they're super thin I'm not gonna take all of them out but you get I believe two is it two or three Maybe three of each, but look, they're very thin. And these are the kind of pieces that I don't mind layering up and like covering up a lot of the pieces behind because you get so many and multiple of each piece and they're super thin. So if you're sewing on a bunch of things, um, it's not going to be super thick and bulky. This is perfect for junk journals. So there's a lot of pieces here. Some florals. And if you do want to order with me, um, you can let me know on my Instagram. Just send me a message. And tell me what you would like to order. And it doesn't have to be just like this collection. If there's certain things that you want along with this collection. Um, I can go ahead and order those things for you too. And let you know if there's like delays on them. These ones are super cute. These little fun strips. This has a lot of really pretty pastels in it. And I actually like this papery pack. So I think I'm going to have to order me one. So there's a lot of pieces, you guys. So many. And then we didn't even get to like the bigger stuff yet. Here are some of the 
like bigger pieces. I wonder if it would be better without the white. Let me see. It's a little dark. Hmm. I'm not sure. But the lighting is off. Okay, so there is a lot of pieces. So many. I'm sure you can get the idea just based off what I showed you. And how many pieces did this come with? 200 pieces, you guys. That's, that's a lot of stuff you can do with it. But like I said, it's very thin. I think in this one, it's just all paper. I didn't feel any washi, but I could be wrong. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is washi, I think. Like washi type sticker backing and stuff. Okay. So there's that one. And then I have the, the stationery pack. So in this pack, I normally don't buy the stationery packs, so I'm, I want to see. I want to see with you guys and see if it's something that I would want to order. Okay. So for the little pieces, we have this cute little, like, envelope. But it's only the side, so it's more like a belly band envelope. Oh, you guys, look. I'm back in school. Two plus two is four. And if you ask my daughter what two plus two is, she's going to tell you 22. Because she's always trying to trick me. It's just one of those, like, tween things, I guess. Um, this really cute vellum heart envelope this little frame and it's like has a little bit of dimension here and this little card a tag this little vellum a bird with florals and what is this a match matchbook yeah a little matchbook thing and then this was the little thing that just fell. We have this like rip apart ticket tag. This one here that says happy day. The gold foiling on this is very like a muted gold foil. But it's definitely gold. All of these. This right here. This one right here with the tab here. Here's a paisley. I mean, I'm not really into paisleys, so that one really doesn't float my boat. But this cute little bag, I wonder if it fits. Does it fit this one? It does. It's a very snug fit, I'll tell you that though. Little gingham back there and then what is this another little coin envelope that one's really thick all of these are good quality here's like a little file folder really cute another little tab and then another little photo insert oh and a little file folder and then this cute little canvas bag. And on it is like some floral. It's really hard to see. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that is the stationery pack. Next we have the puffy, no, not the puffy. The thickers, the foam thickers. And I don't think I really... 
Okay, so I don't really need to open these because I think you can kind of see all of them. Very cute. I really like these um, foam thickers. Next we have this ephemera pack. So in this small pocket. Ooh, I see tickets. Ooh. These are different ephemera pieces. You guys, these are not our tr traditional like ephemera pieces that we're used to. These are like the cardstock stickers, but without the sticky on them. So they have like a shiny sheen to it because they're like the cardstock stickers. So I kind of like that, but I kind of do and I kind of don't because depending on lighting, you're going to have like a glare like that. And I don't like my ephemera pieces to have a glare, but they are very sturdy. Look, like very sturdy and we have some vellum pieces I'm curious if the bigger pieces are going to be like this good quality wow very shocked here they did something different Oh, how cute. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in the whole collection. Every day. Oh, look at the list, little birdie. Paisley. I can do without that. And then this one is like a rose, but it's very muted. And then the bottom section... And it does feel like the same quality as the top one. Like, very cute. And I feel like the pieces are not as big as normal. So that's cool. My heart. Discover lovely i love like this watercolor effect that they're using this is one of my favorite pieces out of this whole ephemera pack that and the bird or the two birds actually really cute pieces more vellum again another paisley not into you So I'm curious what you guys are going to think. Okay, those are all of the ephemera pieces. Like I said, very cute and different. I'm wondering if they decided to do something different because of the... Um, whatchamacallit the digitals because when we all print out our digitals we basically get the same thing for the ephemera so they're probably doing it different so it's not the exact same okay so this is the sticker book now these are the clear stickers are these clear these ones are white background more clear I believe these ones okay. these ones are like kind of a clear but they have like color on them
I can do without this whole page. Should have just gave me a page of birds. Or tickets. Very cute, very subtle. And then we have some strips. These are definitely on a thinner white background paper. So you get a 412 stickers, eight different sheets. And then I have the, well, these used to be cardstock stickers, okay? That's what they used to be called, but they feel very thin. So I'm gonna open them for you right now so I can let you know the quality of these because they feel very thin, like too thin. They almost feel like they're like sticker book thin. Yep, you guys, I'm right. They're clear stickers now. They are no longer cardstock stickers, at least not for this particular one. And I guess that's why they maybe call it auto coolant stickers or no, I think that's in Spanish. Pegatinas? Oh, yeah, stickers. I think that's stickers in Spanish. But let me just give you the overview of them. So these, I mean, I'm not sure if I would purchase these because I like their card cardstock stickers. Um, but if I have like a specific project where I need like clear backing stickers, then that's what I would use. These are the enamel dots. Really cute and simple. Um, they match the collection beautifully. These are the puffy stickers. Very cute. Still very dimensional. I really like these. I need like three packs of these because you can put them with any collection, not just this one. And then the last thing I have is the 6x8 paper pad. And this is one of the things that I was not excited about. But I am now because seeing it in person is completely different. Hold on, you guys. Let me open the other side. Okay. So here is that one. This one's really cute. Reminds me of Garden Party. I wonder if I should just flip like this. wood grain with the simple floral gold floral yellow can't go wrong with yellow one of my favorite pages it looks like the puffy stickers paisleys you guys I don't love it but I'm sure I would use it some gingham wouldn't be called gingham without gingham floral like peachy floral with gold very garden party stripes. Cut apart, simple background. These flowers, grid. This one right here is very interesting. I like it. This one's very subtle. Some of that. And I think it repeats itself. Oh no. Not yet. Or maybe it does. Yep, it repeats. Okay, you guys, that is it for showing you what I have for this collection. And um, my overall, I guess, review about it is that I really like it and I will definitely be purchasing some pieces. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.